Hello, hello everyone. This is Tensi with another Diva Transformation. Today, I'm going to be taking this beauty and I'm going to be transforming her into a diva. So here are the things that you're going to need. You're going to need some fabric, image of the diva, a round placemat, some hair. And today we're going to be using the Bungo Crochet Braid, a scissors, some glue sticks, a glue gun, and of course, bling for the jewelry. And lastly, a canvas. She is going to be a canvas diva. Before I begin, I just want to say how much I miss you guys. I have not done a video in quite some time, but I've been working, 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 um, trying to prepare for Mother's Day. So I've been doing divas. I've also been working on some other things, but I miss y'all so much that I had to do this video. And I am going to be doing some more videos on my Mother's Day collection. So I'm happy to be back doing these videos and some of the things that I am super excited about. Mother's Day is right around the corner and I want to be able to represent or to have art that will represent mothers all around. And so I've been trying to um, come up with some creative ways in which I could do these tutorials so that you could see and you could have some ideas of some of the things that you may want to explore. So we are going to get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the diva's outfit. And I want something that's a little bit more like classy slash like casual. And so this is the material that I am going to be using. And so I wanted to have maybe like a, um, a color or maybe do some, um, sleeves or something or give the illusion that I, um, I have created sleeves. So this is what I'm going to do. And I'm not a seamstress but it's just about creativity. I'm just going to cut this. Let's make sure that it's long enough for the diva. And I think I may even want it to have like, maybe like a color or a sweetheart something. I'm not sure yet, but wherever it takes me, that's where I'll go. So I'm just going to cut this part just a little bit more. Let's see what that would look like if I gave her like a maybe that will work. Or even make it look like a dress that she has. Um, let's see how that will work. So usually I pre-cut because, of course, after cutting like all my material, <laughs> um, most times I usually have this part already done because I don't want to spend time, too much time, trying to figure out what the outfit would look like. Hmm, no. So this is why I pre-cut. So that I don't have to go through this. Like second guessing myself. So this is more like. Instead of just like a regular plain old. Um, sleeveless or off the shoulder dress. Give her something a little bit different. So I think this might work for what I'm envisioning. 
Yeah. So I think I've gotten what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down. So just glue in this piece. And then I will do the other side. So I may have to, okay, it should be fine. So I'm going to do the other side. Uh, come on. As you could tell, I'm always looking for imperfections so that we could get rid of them as they come and don't have to wait until the very end. That's just me. Not a perfectionist, but just making sure that I have a good quality um, product. Now, I'm thinking that maybe I could also give the illusion even more that she's wearing a dress by kind of scrunching this together. We'll see how that works out. Let's go ahead and fix her um, jewelry and then we should be finished with this part. So I'm just going to use the neckline. I'm gonna take her rhinestone necklace. And here we have it. I'm gonna cut this excess extra piece. And so now you could see the necklace and then I am going to just glue, finish gluing this piece. So now we're going to work on the diva's hair and I want more of a, um, a style where the hair would be cascading or just basically coming off of her. I don't want it to be too thick because this hair already has like a lot of texture to it. But I also want to be able to fit the hat on. So I want the hair to kind of like um, start like maybe at the front, the lower front of her, her head. And then I'm going to have some that's just like coming off of the picture, the image a little bit because I wanted to also like um, hang on where you could see part of the blows. 
So I'm going to start with these. And all I'm doing is just taking some glue. And then I'm just going to apply the hair. Please watch out because this glue is hot. And just apply a little pressure. And then I'm going to continue with the others. Just enough glue that because these are jumbo like hair. So you want to make sure that you apply pressure to make sure that it sticks and stays where you want them to. And this is what it looks like. I love the color of this hair. It matches so well with her complexion. And so I'm doing the same thing that I've been doing with the others. And you don't have to be like super neat with this, but you do want to have it looking presentable. I always tell my um, students that even though you may not see it, sometimes you just never know in the future, somebody might want to take this apart and to see what you did. So I always try to be as neat with everything that I do. So I want to have a few more, just a couple more of the braids. Because I still want to be able to see her eyes too. So I'm just going to put this like right in, like on top of this braid. Apply a little pressure. Just give it a couple seconds and then apply a little pressure so that you don't get burned. And so I'm able to see her eyes. And I think I want just one more braid that will go like, I still want to be able to see her eyes, but I also want to see a little bit of her clothing on the other side. So I'm going to fit this in somewhere here. And so I just apply a little pressure again. And voila, hairstyle is just about finished. Didn't take us very long for this part. So now I was thinking about doing a hat, more like a church diva kind of hat. But I'm thinking, nah, I want something a little bit more um, sophisticated. And this is what she looks like with her braids now. I just wanted it on one side basically because I am going to show you how I would do the hat. And again, just me trying to look for imperfections. <laughs> but the hat will be covering this, so I'm not too worried about it. All right. So... This is what I'm going to do with the hat. I'm going to do a free, free falling kind of thing now with the hat. Instead of using items around the house, I'm just going to use, this is what she looks like. I am just going to use or do a hat. And this is another way of doing the hats. And I'm sure that you have seen some of my other videos where I don't use things around the house, but just kind of shape it and just go with the flow. So this is one of those. And I am going to be adding some blue just so that I can see her eyes at all time. I, I think she has some beautiful eyes and I want to be able to see them. So I am going to take the placemat. And I the first thing that I'm going to do is look for so this seemed to be the, okay, so this scene, I hope is the, okay, it was silly of me to take the tag off, but hey, all right, I think this is the, the right side of the hat. So like I said, I'm going to 
work with our hat I hope that you could could see Okay, so I want a little bit of scallop. So I'm just going to bend this and fold it a little bit. I'm just checking to see what she looks like. Okay. I think I'm satisfied with the way she looks. I'm going to just go ahead and glue this part to the canvas. And I put a generous amount of glue even to some of it on the hair itself just so that it could I could make sure that it's adhering to the point where it won't be moving to go anywhere so I need a little bit more glue don't these glue be oh my goodness So all I do is pull the hat down a little bit to create a little bit of pressure for a few seconds to make sure that the hat won't be moving. And it'll stay like how I want it to. So I'm going to turn this around and I'm also going to use the glue right here. And just hold it, apply a little bit of pressure. And then I am also going to do it to the front because I don't want it to be moving. And I want more like a scallop. Cause like I said, this glue for some reason it's a little bit messy, so constantly cleaning my fingers. Okay, so now I am going to finish up this hat with a little bit of bling. Just adding a little bit of bling to it. As you know, we love our bling. We women, we love our bling. And this is what she looks like. Before I add the bling. So maybe she could go as a church diva too. Or she could go as a casual yet sophisticated. I think I want to name her Fierce though, this painting Fierce, because she just has that look like, try me if you want to. So, I think that's, that's what I'm going to name her. And for those of you, I don't think I reminded everyone that if you have not yet subscribed to my channel uh, I am asking that you do so um, it's very important to me that you are part of my little village or 
my little art community, art and craft community. So please, if you could give me a subscribe and like and share my videos, that would be super, super awesome. And I would really appreciate you doing that for me. So I also want to remind everybody that I am still doing my tutorials and on everything diva. If you want to learn some tips and tricks of making hats, real sophisticated hats, simple hats, all different types of hats. I actually um, designed one this morning. This is one that I designed and created this morning. And I haven't um, thought about what diva I'm going to let to wear this, but it's a prototype. I want to actually make a crown next. So um, this was just like a prototype of what I was um, envisioning. So if you would like to know how I create these hats, then you need to be taking my tutorials, my private tutorials. I will show you all the ins and outs of creating these hats and more. Everything Diva. So I'm just going to finish up by gluing all the other sides of the hat to the canvas. And then I'm cleaning any glue marks or anything that was not done intentionally. And so now I'm also going to finish up her outfit. And I'm loving the way how she turned out. She's a beautiful African-American female. And she is going down in the books as being fierce. I love her look. And this is what she looks like again. I'm going to add some bling, but I will be um, doing that and showing you in the final, the final product, the final video, part of the video. So I'm going to finish up her outfit and then that would be it for today.